In this video, we will look at two examples of factoring using substitution. When an expression resembles the form ax squared plus bx plus c, we can use the method of substitution to try to factor the expression. So looking at the expression ax squared plus bx plus c, the variable factor of the middle term is x, and notice how if we square x, we get the variable factor of the first term, which is x squared. The expression needs to fit this form in order to use the method of substitution. Looking at the first expression, we have x to the fourth minus 2x squared minus 63. Notice the variable factor of the middle term is x to the second. If we square x to the second, we need to get the variable factor of the first term, which is x to the fourth. To check this, let's write the expression as x to the second squared and see if we get the variable factor of the first term, which we do. Remember, when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So let's write the given expression as the square of x to the second minus two times x to the second minus 63. Writing the expression in this form is a way to verify it fits the correct form, and it also sets it up to perform the substitution. We now introduce a new variable and set it equal to the variable factor of the middle term. And therefore, in this case, we will let u equal x squared. And now we write the expression in terms of u. Because u equals x squared, we can now write the first term as just u squared. And then we have minus 2u minus 63. Now that we have a quadratic expression, we factor like we normally do, and then write it back in terms of x. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is u squared, which equals u times u, we have a factor of u in the first position here, and a factor of u in the first position here. And now because the leading coefficient is one, we need to find the factors of negative 63 that add to negative two. We'll notice that negative nine times positive seven is equal to negative 63, and negative nine plus positive seven is equal to negative two. And therefore, the two factors we need are negative nine and positive seven, which means one binomial factor is u minus nine, the other binomial factor is u plus seven. Now we write this back in terms of x using u equals x squared. So one binomial factor is x squared minus nine. The other binomial factor is x squared plus seven. Now we need to be careful here because now we need to see if we can factor further. Notice how x squared minus nine is a difference of squares, and therefore this factor will factor further. x squared plus seven does not factor. So the final factor form we will have one, two, three binomial factors, where one binomial factor is x squared plus seven, and these two binomial factors will be the factorization of x squared minus nine, which again is a difference of squares. Because x squared is equal to x times x, we have a factor of x here and a factor of x here. And because three squared of three times three is nine, one binomial factor is x plus three. The other binomial factor is x minus three. Again, this is because x squared minus nine is a difference of squares. This is the correct factored form of the given expression. Let's look at a second example. Here we have x to the sixth minus 13 x cubed plus 36. Notice the variable factor of the middle term is x to the third. In order to be in the correct form, if we square x to the third, we need to get the variable factor of the first term, which is x to the sixth. And let's go ahead and check this. If we have x to the third and then we square it, notice how we do get x to the sixth. Again, because when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So let's write the given expression as the square of x to the third minus 13 times x to the third plus 36. And now we perform a substitution by letting u equal the variable factor of x to the third from the middle term. Which means now we can write the expression in terms of u as u squared minus 13u plus 36. And now we factor in terms of u. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is u squared, we have a u here and a u here. And now we need to find the factors of positive 36 that add to negative 13. Because the sum must be negative, we will have to use two negative factors for the factors of positive 36. 
So notice that negative 4 times negative 9 is equal to positive 36, and negative 4 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 13, which means one factor is u minus 4, and one factor is u minus 9. And now we write this back in terms of x, replacing u with x cubed. So one binomial factor is x cubed minus 4, the other binomial factor is x cubed minus 9. Because both factors contain x cubed, we should check to see if either of these binomial factors is a difference of cubes. And because 4 and 9 are perfect squares, not perfect cubes, this does not factor further. This is the factored form of the given expression. I do want to mention, after doing these a while, you may be able to write the given expression in this form here, and then go from this form straight to the factored form. I hope you found this helpful.